Hey, Danny. I'm not exactly a handyman or a paint man or anything like that. You know? I can do a bit of stuff, you know. Growing up in Cooma around the house, and did a bit of tinkering on this and that. Dad, Dad took care of the house and the janitorial duties for most part. So I'm not exactly a blokey handyman and stuff. But um, well, I'm not stupid. But this is a bit of info on this stuff. Wattles Forestwood Natural Finish Oil Stain. That's been out in the carpool for oh God, forever, you know, as you can see, you know. Probably should have cleaned it first. Uh, but uh, it's natural finish oil stain, so you finish off wood things and stuff, you know. Benches and tables and things and cup cupboards and bookcases and things with the oil stain. I won't really bother opening it. There is some in there, but... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll read what it has to say. Forest food, wood natural oil stain. Forest wood natural finish oil stain and its colour... adds colour to timber, but allows the grain to show through. Its oil-rich formula penetrates the timber to protect and preserve... Ideal for all smooth or rough sawn timber beams, pergolas, weatherboards, windows, gates, etc. Forestwood dries completed to give a surface that won't mark clothing or skin. Note, forestwood should only be used on bare timber or over similar oil stain finishes. Not over surfaces coated with paint type finishes includes ranch wood. When forest wood is used inside timber which is frequently handled, it is a good idea to protect the surface by applying Two coats of instant estopol. Stare thoroughly before use and occasionally during use. Directions. Apply forest wood only to timber which is dry and free from dirt. Wax, grease or oil. Galvanized nails should be used to avoid rust staining. Otherwise punch nails and fill holes with indie linseed oil putty colored to match. Stare forest wood thoroughly before use and occasionally during use to avoid settling of pigment. Brushes, brush a general, a brush a generous coat well into the timber. One coat gives satisfactory coverage or more. Coverage, sorry, on most timbers. A second coat may be needed on coarse grain timbers and will give longer lasting protection in positions exposed to strong sunlight. Allow 24 hours to dry before recoating. Recoating. Clean surface with a stiff brush before application. If surface retains a sufficient color, recoat with forest wood clear, which is obviously a clear version. Caution. Forest wood clear is only for rejuvenating surfaces previously coated with any other forestwood colours. It shouldn't be used alone as a finish. Well, that's interesting. Clean up. Wash out brushes and then, if necessary, with mineral terps. Coverage. Contents will colour approximately 12 square... Cover approximately 12 square metres on smooth timber or 7 square metres on rough sawn timber. Ensure adequate ventilation during use. It's flammable. Now, it's manufactured by Waffle Australia Proprietary Limited, 48 Walker Street, Canada Bay, New South Wales, 2046. Okay, so it's a stain to uh, make your, your wood products look good. It's one litre. It's in a tin can. And the company is Wattle. Wattle. Does it better for Australia? Wattle does it better for Australia. Now, Wattle's been around for a fair while. It doesn't 
say the date of how long they've been around for a while. But does it better for Australia? So I'm guessing this is an Australian company. And uh, it's a wood stain. And wood stains, well, they're used to make your wood, wood furniture items look attractive. Okay. A bit of info on wattle, forest wood, natural, finished oil stain. Cheese.